Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the channel and this is going to be a running theme. Uh, this review is going to be so, so late, but again, I really wanted to talk about this movie and kind of review this movie and the movie I'm talking about is Doom. I'm going to be reviewing Doom today and before we get into everything, please like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you know when you can get my videos that will be coming more in the near coming future. So um, let's get into it. Now, this movie stars Timothy Chalamet, Zendaya, Oscar Isaac, Rebecca Ferguson, Stellan Skarsgård, Dave Bautista, Jason Momoa, and a bevy of other actor and actresses. This is a stacked cast. This is an ensemble cast that is A-list across the board. And it really does work for the smaller roles and the bigger roles that everyone does their job really well in encompassing their character and in the short amount of time you may have with the character and that's really what works about this movie is everyone works so well together and bringing this story to life because Doom is based off a book and also has a movie in the 80s that I have not seen but I was really going into this story blind and not really knowing what the world of Doom was about. And this movie does a really good job of showing you this lived in world and showing you this world, but also hinting that fact that it's much bigger than what you see in this movie. And Denise Villeneuve does a really good job of not only showing the scale of the world itself, also the scale of this movie. This movie looks gorgeous. This movie is truly a blockbuster in scale and in the story. It's on HBO Max, but I would recommend if you can see this in the theater because it really does lend itself to seeing in the theater the visuals and the cinematography that he is able to pull off in this movie. Now, like I said, this whole entire cast really works like that. And Timothy Chalamet, who is an upcoming actor and a phenomenal actor, really does play the main lead really well, encompassing this boy who's just trying to find his way in this very large political back and forth with his father and how with House of Trades. And you get that in that sense when he's interacting with his father Oscar Isaac and you kind of feel that struggle of like he doesn't really know what he's supposed to be and these different ideals are pulling him in these all different types of directions and especially with his mother teaching him these special powers that he has but he eventually might take over as leader of House of Trades and he doesn't know so that lends me leads me to my second thought about the fact that this movie does a really good job of explaining and breaking down these very complex storylines because what I've heard is this plot in this book is filled with a lot of story and I felt like this did a good job of breaking that story down and through lining it so the average viewer could understand because Unfortunately, one gripe I do have is this movie is definitely a part of multiple movies. This was going to go into a trilogy, and you kind of feel that with the ending that this movie is one part of many. But that doesn't take away from the fact that this does also feel like a whole entire movie, and at the very most is a very good setup of what's to come. And you really feel that throughout, especially with a character like Zendaya, who is mainly through f visions of the future, I'll say, and really a very majestic figure in these dreams that Paul is having. So that is another aspect that I kind of had a thought on, but for the most part, this movie really works for me. And it really does do a good job of lending us into the world of Doom. And another thing that Denise Villeneuve does is the fact that the thematical elements of this movie of there isn't really necessarily always a good guy. And it's just 
it's just sides and who's to say one person is good and another person is bad given that perspective you know and it really does do a good job of taking elements like religion and war and political sides and really showing them in a nuanced way about how these are all tools and things that people use to get what they want and plan and succeed for themselves and not really for the benefit of other people you know and so I just really like a lot of things that this movie did and very subtly as well and it's just a really great movie and like I said the visuals are great and standouts are especially Jason Momoa and Stellan Skarsgård. Jason Momoa it's sort of his usual character but with a little bit more added to it as Paul's closest friend and giving him advice and you can really feel that they have this bond and relationship and Stellan Skarsgård as the Baron is as always he is very creepy and very menacing in this you know so Dune I will give a 5 out of 5 I would highly recommend if you can't see it in theaters or if it's even still in theaters given the fact that I'm putting this at review please go watch it on HBO Max so please tell me your thoughts have you heard of Dune did you watch the 80's movie from David Lynch did you like this one where did you see it if you are seeing this review after you saw the movie what it is comment below let me know like subscribe and as always I'll see you next time Thank you.